Hello all, this is Wallace Moon, and this is my third failed Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you a working version of Connect 4 built entirely out of redstone in Minecraft. Uh, redstone and pistons. As you can see, there are some note blocks and some pretty glass, but let's go inside. Okay, inside we have the game board, which is uh, this area right here. Okay, we have the two sides, one for each player. One plays as sand, and the other plays with dirt. Uh, not dirt, gravel. Uh, the buttons are right here. Each button corresponds to the row it's meant to be in. So we're going to play a quick game, and then I'll go over the mechanics. I've got Kai here to assist me. As you can see, it drops a single piece of sand. And when he pushes a button, it drops gravel. I'm a bit too competitive for my own game. So, uh... The game is uh, currently set up in a 7x6, uh, that's 7 columns and 6 rows, game board, which is the standard, according to Wikipedia, for um, Connect 4 boards. And right there, if he does the, uh, if he moves there, we got one, two, three, and four. So let's win this. A little gloating. One, two, three, four. So. We also have a reset device. Uh, again, the server is using a um, drop chest mod, so all of the sand that you just saw and gravel goes nicely into this chest. And now I'm going to show you how to uh, load the thing and how it works. Uh, first off, the whole reset button. It's just a simple redstone circuit hooked up to these pistons. When sand or gravel um, falls onto a, a hatch that is closed, it automatically turns into its little block equivalent. So, let's see if we can just... It has to actually fall. Let's see. So, that goes into the chest, and then we can bring it up to the hopper, where the game pieces are stored. Uh, each button is connected to a corresponding piston. Uh, this bus system took a lot of effort and thought. 
um, but it does work, and you know, all's good if it, all's well that ends well. You'll notice these nice note blocks. These are to prevent pistons from pushing each other in case somebody fills the board too high or does some sort of shenanigans. The note blocks will prevent the pistons from breaking the game. Over here you'll find a clock. It's just a simple timer. And it's connected to these pistons that are delayed in such a way that the sand moves from column to column until it gets put in front of your gameplay pistons. Um, let me see if Kai is still... yeah. Kai is down there somewhere. I'm not sure if he's gone. He was helping... So you push the thing, and the pistons pushed in place, and got the next stone. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how, how this thing is loaded and fed. Um, in order to start the game, you normally need uh, anywhere between one and three columns of gravel and sand. So we got our gravel side here. Normally I load it from the bottom, but this is just easier. Ooh. <laughs> and sand. Well, I was hoping to take less fall damage, but... Right, anyway. And that's it. The game is now res reset, and we are ready to play again. Simple door switch. It's not an iron door, so it doesn't work at keeping people out. And uh, there we have it. There is no cheating protection. Thank you all uh, for watching. This. Is, um, if you have any questions, comments, like my video or hate it, please uh, leave it in the section, the column below. Thank you.